Good morning, cultists! In our last episode, after much jibber-jabber and faffing about, we finally got to the Fountainhead Palace, and we were carried here by what is essentially Japanese Gumby. In any case, I guess we'll begin our exploration of the Fountainhead Palace, which is actually quite beautiful and uh, serene. Or not. Wait, didn't I fight you before? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I fought you outside of the uh, Mibu Cave thing, no? Or was that like a different version or a different person entirely? You know what? Let's get some pot shots in. Hmm, I wonder if we can parry her. Or we can just, you know, settle with the pot shots, I guess. Oh, crap. Woo! Good dodge there, me. Oh, okay. Parry attempt number one. Fail, and it seems that she might be dues able to do some Mickey counter stuff. Oh, good grief. Not a good start, I gotta say. Not a good start. Okay, so we can, in fact, parry her. Fantastic. Yay! That was nice. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell was that? Okay. Oh shit, she follows that up with another uh, swing. Okay. Yep, definitely not a good start. Oof. I barely done any damage to her at all. Oh. Though it is interesting how her posture damage doesn't appear to be going down. Hmm, maybe that's the key here. Is to not worry about vitality, but rather go for the old posture damage. Which means then, of course, we need to do a lot of countering. Which I'm fine with. Kind of. Sometimes, maybe. Whoa! Shit! Ate that one to the face. And another Ichimonji double, which backfired spectacularly, as it turns out. Oh. Nice! Our first death blow. Alright, well, let's celebrate with some pellets. What are you doing? What is this? Oh, God. What the? Hell? Good grief! Oh, no. Okay, am I gonna have to fight her in this form, or... Oh, jeez. Do I have to, like, hit her to snap her out of it, or... Is she just gonna, like, get it out of her system eventually? I guess we'll... Off for the ladder for now. Oh, God. Okay. So it seems that maybe she just gets it out of her system eventually. Fantastic. Go for the Ichimonji double. Oh, come on. Okay, buddy. And... There you go. Oof. I should probably opt for the pellet usage more than anything else, though. There you go. Oh, fuck. I kind of whiffed on that one there. Oh, shit. Right, the old follow-up attack. Oh, God! Ah, oh, saw that coming a mile off. Could do nothing to prevent it. Because I can't snap myself out of a move. Ah, I wonder if the uh, trees are for this purpose. Possibly? Oh, there we go. Oof. That one's a guard breaker. That one's a face breaker. Shit. Alright, she's going for the attack. And so am I. Oh, come on! Why can't I break out of attacks? Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, jeez. I thought I was going to eat that one to the face. Oh, fantastic. Whew! Okay, uh, three, uh, Gort. What the... Oh, no. This, of course, means that their attacks have become dramatically different now. I wonder if she's susceptible to oilage. Miss? And, okay, turns out that she may be susceptible to the old uh, oil and burn. Famous 
um, chest move. And burn. Hell yeah. Wow. I actually did, it, did a sizable amount of damage there. Okay. So she comes in with that. I don't know if she does anything beyond that after. There you go. Though I am rapidly running out of a spirit emblem, so I might want to possibly rely on some semblance of skill. Oh. There you go, miss. Haha. <laughs> nice. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Let's get a pot shot in there. Nice. Oh, God. Not the old tornado. She's channeling the barbarian from the hit video game Diablo 3. Or was it Diablo? It was Diablo 3, wasn't it? What the hell? My God. That was a tele hit if there ever was one. And Burnination. Fantastic. That was our last Burnination, though. So I might want to actually uh, get some hits in this time. You know what? Pot shots. That's how we're going to do this. The old cheapskate move. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. You know what? We did it. Oh, sweet mother. Fantastic. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> Memory of the true monk. The corrupted monk guarded the bridge leading to the Fountainhead Palace. Dragon's tally board. A tally board carved from a large piece of jade. Possessing this increases the stocks that can be purchased in merchant shops. Such a tally board is highly prized by the merchant class. Old custom dictates that those of dragon rank are recognized as supreme merchants by the Imperial Palace and should be given the best possible treatment. Oh, that's cool. Oh, does that mean that um, we can now check out the merchants for a new stock? Hmm, maybe I should give that a try. Yeah. Okay, so I think maybe let's try doing a bit of shopping. That is after I confront the memory of a true monk. Um, the corrupted monk was among the infested standing over the fountain and palace. Indeed, immortality would seem a fitting quality for eternal watcher of the palace. Her true name is Priestess Yao. Well, her true name is Deadass Lady. Fantastic. Okay, so let me put a cut in here. And I'll check out the um, memorial mob dudes. And maybe even my friend with the uh, really well exposed butt cheeks. And see if perhaps we've got some new stock. If not, then I'll just come back and then, you know, we'll just progress from here. So I'll be back in a sec. Alright, I'm back and I have spoken with all the merchants that I remember. Um, including old butt cheeks man and um, turned out to be a bit of a waste of my time because actually I mean I guess it's not bad to get a lay of the land because um, I think all the memorial mob guys and the information broker guy at uh, the dilapidated temple now sell scrap iron and black gunpowder and infinite numbers of snaps peas and also divine confetti but beyond that not much else so it's kind of a shame, but whatever, that's fine. It's a shame because I can't um, upgrade my uh, my prosthetic tools still. I still need more, um, what's it, adamantine claws or whatever, and also the uh, fulminated mercury. Oh god, that's a lot of water. Please tell me that's not water that I have to swim through. Ah, oh, jeez, okay. Immediately the terror is starting to... Uh, there's a bit of onset of terror happening right now in my uh, butthole. Good grief, it is very tightly puckered. Uh-oh. Oh shit. It's not another boss, is it? Because the last time, um... Or the first time and last time that I encountered one of these guys... I'm stuck. I am quite stuck, as it turns out. Um... He turned out to be a mini-boss. Wait, I'm sorry. Is he making footstep noises? He didn't seem to hear that, though. Oh! Oh, no! He does have feet! 
Oh, I just kind of naturally assumed that he was some kind of like slug creature, but that's just his tail. Somehow I managed to avoid stepping on his tail as I um, approached him from behind, though. Oh, shoot. Okay. Turns out they're actually fairly easy to kill. Interesting. I hear you, good sir. I hear you. I'll try not to destroy any furniture as I approach you from behind. Fantastic. So what is their purpose exactly? Maybe they're like the um, the nuns, the the old grandmas who go around raising the alarm and shit. Uh, just looking out for more dudes. What is that purple stuff? Is that are those flowers? Uh, I thought that tree was a uh, dude hunched over, but apparently not. Okay, anything in here besides? Well, I guess knee-deep water, which is slightly better than, um, deep water that I can swim through and drown through. Ah, I see a couple of dudes over there. Thank you. Light coin purse. And can I? Ah, uh -huh. good, good. I might be able to get the jump on these two. Possibly. Yeah, I can get up on the roof there, too. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Um, I think maybe, oh, I see. I see this situation. Hmm. You know what I actually want to try? Is the finger whistle. Because I've tried it, I think. Don't really understand how it works, though. Hmm. So let's take a gussy here. Sir? Right. So it's basically like a reusable, um,. What's it? Ceramic shard, right? In essence, it's one that doesn't uh, run out. Oh my god, you're ugly. You're an ugly bastard, sir. An ugly, ugly bastard. An ugly bastard who is capable of giving me a decent amount of experience points, as it turns out. Alright, well, since there's only one dude left, I guess we don't really need to use my, um, you know, finger whistle on him. Alright, buddy. Eat shit. Fantastic. And what lies beyond here? Yep, I thought I heard some fluting. Some fluty tooty. I wonder if I can maybe... Because I don't want to get caught, right? Again, not entirely sure what happens if I do get caught, but... Let's hug the wall. And perhaps... He will approach. That's right, approach you ugly bastard. Well, I mean, we got a death blow, right? So, <laughs> I guess that kind of counts. Lump of fat wax, awesome. Hey, maybe you can farm this. Whoa, fuck me. Oh shit, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to uh, suddenly drop it on you like that. Did you just wah me? Nobody was me, all right? Nobody except for my mother and maybe my grand poobah. Who is dead. Long dead. Alright, um... Hmm... Any more dudes up here? Just in case they might surprise me? Now I think... There is that spot that I can latch on to. Thank you. Aha! Uh -huh. Couple of dudes over there. And... One dude over there. So I guess we'll take out the one dude by himself. Himself? Herself? I'm actually not sure what their uh, preferred pronoun is, but my preferred status of them is that they die. It's got a feminine voice, so I'm just going to assume that they're female. Whoop! Sorry. My bad. My bad. Though her friend doesn't seem to have noticed, which is pretty hilarious. <laughs> nice. She didn't notice the uh, tussle going on right next to her? Fantastic. Great guards, these guys. Aha! Uh -huh. Someone on the bridge doing the old famous Japanese jig, as it turns out. Yep. Very famous Japanese jig. Of course, I know nothing about Japanese jigs. But I do know that I appreciate the lump of grave wax that I just got. Hmm, 
anything over this way. Okay, by virtue, um, because this place is so wide and open, I feel like there's going to be a lot of faffing about and uh, various exploring of stuffs. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing if you enjoy that, but it does mean that um, there are going to be times when I basically waste everyone's time. Because I'm uh, exploring shit. What are those? What the hell is that? Some kind of weird wolf-like creature? Nice see you. Oh, you know what? Ugh. No wonder these guys seem familiar. They remind me of the um, university students. Uh, the blob-like creatures in the hit video game uh, Bloodborne. Yeah, that's why they seem fo so familiar. I was like... I feel like I've seen these kinds of enemies before. Turns out I have, but not in this game, obviously. Oh shit. Almost, uh... There you go. Uh, is she going to investigate? I guess she is. And she will die for it. Fantastic. Now I guess I could nin uh, puppeteer ninjutsu some of these guys. Which I really enjoy, as it turns out. So much so that my voice is, uh, breaking. I hear some fluty tooty. Okay, you know what? Let's see if perhaps, um... Perhaps shurikening these guys might, uh... Be an adv- Oops. Didn't mean to do that. My bad. Whoa, wait, what? What was that explosion? Whoa! They're lightning things. What the hell? Wait a minute. Are they dead? It's... They just... They're like bees. They basically just release their lightning and then they die. Bees, of course. Famous creatures for releasing lightning, right? Nice, nice. Though I am basically wasting spirit emblems at this point. Because it seems like they could just die with one hit. Hmm. Now, do they have the same sense of smell as their woven brethren? Good grief, they are ugly. Sorry, you're so ugly that you must die. Jeez. They kind of look fish-like in appearance. Oh, good grief. Oh, it turns out they don't just die immediately after expelling lightning from their butthole faces. Okay, good to know, good to know. I should probably get rid of old Tutti Flutti. Yes. Just in case I might accidentally alert him to my presence, as I'm about to do now. Alright, Flutti Tutti, oh no! Flutti Tutti, no, stop! <laughs> Fantastic. You know what? Whoa, shit! Oh, come on, I was trying to do a, a parry on you. Oh, shit, I, I thought I could finally try a, um, parrying lightning. Sadly, I was bravely mistaken. Well, one of those guys gives like 300 experience points? Nice. Heavy coin purse, Ungol's sugar, and what else we got? I noticed that there's some items on the other side here. Which I will gladly procure. Ugh. Eel liver. Ugh. I think I may have accidentally eaten some fish liver at some point. Oh no! Fish liver oil. That's why I'm thinking uh, fish liver. It is, if it's... I mean, if those fish liver, liver tablets are nearly as... Or if fish liver itself is nearly as disgusting as the fish liver... Um, pot oil liver tablet things, then um, I imagine that e-liver must be infinitely worse, right? That did nothing. It basically just kind of pissed him off a little bit. Wait, was that a treasure carp? What the hell? Okay, okay, can I not? Can I not die to the... What in the flying fuck hit me? What was that? That's not cool. Oh man. 
No, I feel like the, um... Now I have this overwhelming urge to uh, head back to the shrine and rest up. Just to make sure that I don't get uh, killed in my next thing. Hmm. Well, in any case, I actually kind of need to... Oh, there we go! There can't be any any enemies around here, right? Alright, let me just quickly replace the batteries on my headphones, alright? Just give me one sec. I apologize. I may need to... Well, I don't think I need to edit this out. It's just some behind-the-scenes stuff, as it were. And... Right into my earballs. Fantastic. Please ignore the random jibber-jabber that is happening now. And we are back in business. We are back in business. Sorry about that. There we go. Done did it. Great. Okay, so, um, I guess now that I've rested up, we know not to go into the water there. Though I do wonder if maybe, hmm, maybe that's what these guys summon, is lightning. Though I kind of doubt it. Because how can they, uh, how can lightning hit me when I'm indoors? What the fuck? Oh my god, you are... me, young man. Yes? You are deeply terrifying, miss. Oh, God. Good grief. You like the uh, you look like the protagonist from the hit video game, um, Planescape Torment, the nameless one. Young man, please be careful. The palace nobles have a craving for the vitality of youth. They can't help themselves. They want nothing but to sap away more and more of it. I see. The courtyard ahead in particular. It is accursed. It's crawling with palace nobles. If you must forge ahead, you'd best go around it. Great, thank you. And thank you for not... trying to rip my balls off and... put it into your little cup thing. Why are you telling me this? I have a favor to ask you, young man. Of course. It? It's about my father. He's my dead. My father is now a noble. And the moment he became one, he found himself entranced by a carp. The great carp. For a long, long time since, he's done nothing but feed that cursed carp. Young man. Please, release my father from the carp's bewitching powers. I know my father wouldn't wish for an eternity like that. Okay. The courtyard is an occur- And if you see my father, please, re He just feeds it forever and ever, my father. Well, you're in luck. I seem to have this- particular hatred for uh, carp, so I'm more than willing to, um, I guess, free your father from uh, carp duty. Bike down. Hmm, so these guys are palace nobles then. Interesting. Hmm. So what exactly do they do if they spot me then? I mean, I guess I haven't really stuck around long enough to see them attack me. And I'm not sure I want to find out. Okay, someone apparently has noticed me. Alright. There's some... Oh, shit. Something's happening. Oh, they're sucking some stuff out of me. Interesting. Well, I don't know if I want to get that... Let that uh, meter get to the top there. Because I feel like that's bad news. Aqua Sugar. Thank you. And I do hear more Flutie Tootie. Hmm. It's one of those, uh, samurai things over there. And nothing from the other side, as far as I can tell. Thank you. You know what? I'm gonna, uh, pop it through Ninjutsu you. What? You couldn't have sucked up my soul that way. Hey, what you got? <laughs> nice, good job. 
Though it seemed like maybe it was in the process of sucking out uh, uh, my friend's uh, soul there or something. Still not entirely sure what it is that thing does, but... I'm pretty sure I just straight up die immediately after, I would assume, in any case. You know what, friend? I need some uh, help. So, how about... Thank you! <laughs> I like that they're mobile, um, well, health bags, in essence. They are, of course, the famous meat bags. Since I can uh, death blow them for health and all that such. Uh-huh. Okay, so I guess going through the rafters is maybe the smartest idea. Are you down there? Hmm. Sir and or madam. Oh shit. I see. Okay, well, you know what? I could do with some assistance here, guys. Absolutely not. Enough of the flutie tootie. That's right. Meet my new friend. Oh shit. My new friend who is now uh, attacking me. Fantastic. Alright, don't hit me. Don't hit me. She's dead. Don't. Stop freaking out. You're fine. Lump of. Whoa! Wait, can I actually farm Lump of Grave Wax from here? What the fuck? Go deal with that! Please! I need your assistance. Uh, can I not latch onto the rooftops here? Or do I just need to find the right spot? Uh-oh. I am now being harassed by 50 million dudes and their dogs. Probably, I assume. Okay, well, maybe I can get through the roof through here? Maybe not. Hmm. So, can I just land on this guy with the, uh, Looty Tootie? Nope, not quite, but... It, we did something. Lump of Grave Wax, awesome. How much of that stuff do I have now? Because I might have enough to upgrade our, uh, stuff. Yeah, yeah, I've got five. That should be enough to upgrade some of my, uh, gear, I think. Hopefully. I just kind of need to find a way to get up to that rooftop so that I can take care of him or her. Maybe through here? Hmm. Okay, let's be on our guard. Don't trust any corner. Not that, you know, you would be, you should be going around talking to corners and asking them their opinion on stuff. Like, maybe game reviews. Yes. Corners are notoriously um, deceitful when it comes to uh, reviewing games objectively. So my advice, don't trust game, uh, corners when it comes to... Um... What the fuck? So they basically don't even need like a proper line of sight. Whoa! Shit! My bad. Sorry, I didn't know that you existed. That's on me. Whoa. Good grief, miss. How about some Inchimanji double there? That's right. Fantastic. Uh, There appears to be something more terrifying over that way. I mean, they're all kind of terrifying. I'm not going to lie. But you know what I mean. So is that one coming towards me now? <laughs> nice. Very nice. Thank you. And then there was one. Who began the old sucky suck, but uh, stopped him in time. Hell, thank you. Hmm. I could do with another healing or resting spot right about now, actually. The, whoa! Fuck me! Oh my god! That terrified me, miss. Don't do that. As in, don't exist. Good grief. Can I open this? Sadly, I cannot. Hmm. So what's up with this broken part of the wall? I can't grab onto it. Can I grab onto anything at all? 
So how the fuck do I get up there to fight that guy? What in the seven hells is this? Is that a rhinoceros? Hmm. That might be rhin rhinoceros or something. I don't know. Oh my god. Hello? Monsieur Rhino? What is that? Uh, I can't really tell, but at first glance, it does kind of look like a rhino-ish, but I could be wrong. Alright, well, let's actually end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow and explore more of the Fountainhead Palace and, I guess, beat off these nobles, as it were. Even their dead bodies are disgusting. Good grief. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.